Every day, thousands of campers choose to sleep on the ground. Campers like Tom. Tom spends his days under this awning in a tent. It's my parents' tent. In his parents' tent, fashioned together by marshmallow skewers and tape. You see, Tom is what we call a no electronics regular dirt sleeper. We can change that, Tom, with Rapid Camp Plus from Thor Motor Coach. Wouldn't you like to help a camper like me? Here's a rundown of everything happening on your home screen. In the upper right corner, you can see your house battery voltage and the time of day. We'll show you how to set that in just a bit. Let's start on the top row, working our way from left to right. You'll find buttons that control your awnings, overhead bunk if you have one, vent fans, and generator with auto gen start setup. Moving down, we have climate control, lights inside and outside your coach. You can pull up your monitor panel and control your slide rooms. If your coach is equipped, this is where you would level your coach with the electric stabilizers. You can return to this screen at any time by pressing the home key located on the bottom of the frame. The USB and micro SD ports are for manufacturer's use and reset will reset the system to the factory defaults. So let's go ahead and tap each button and take a closer look at how this system works. Pressing the awning button pulls up the plus for extend and the minus for retract. Simply press the direction you want your awning to go. This little gear icon moves and your awning is right where you want it, in or out. If your coach is equipped with the drop down bunk, the bed lift button allows you to raise or lower the bed. Simply press the down arrow to lower and the up arrow to raise. Don't forget to remove the pins before lowering and put them back in after the bunk is raised. Tapping the fan button brings up the location of your vent fans and allows you to turn them on or off. Let's dive into the generator settings. To fire it up, tap the start button. Your generator will prime and start. Stop turns it off. The three dots brings up this submenu. This is where you log your generator maintenance and configure your preferred auto start settings. First, determine what triggers you want to kick your generator on. Auto start voltage is how you hand pick the voltage the generator fires up at when the house batteries drop to that level. You can pick a range from 10 and a half to 12 volts. If you turn on the auto start when needed by AC, your generator will start when either the air conditioner or furnace hits the temperature you've selected in the climate setting. The generator will stop when the set temperature is reached. Auto start duration is how long you want the generator to run once it fires up. You can choose between 30 and 180 minutes. Auto start off duration is how long you want the generator to stay off before your triggers fire it up. Again, you can choose between 30 and 180 minutes. To set your quiet hours, which is the time period you do not want your generator to run, such as overnight in a campground, first turn the enable switch to on. Now set your start time and your end time. Make sure your RV time is set to whatever time zone you may be in. Now your generator will not fire up during those hours and you do not have to worry about disturbing yourself or others. HVAC brings up this screen and you have a number of options here. Choose from heat slash cool. This will cycle between the AC and furnace to keep your coach at a certain temp. You can also choose simply heat or simply cool or off. The option gear allows you to choose Celsius or Fahrenheit. And just like home, you can also select your fan speed, high, low, or auto. Setting your temperature is as easy as moving this dial. Moving to lighting. From this screen, you can pick and choose what lights you want on or off, or simply choose all on or all off. Tapping the monitor panel brings up this screen, which shows you a readout of your black tank, fresh water tank, gray tank, and propane. Over on the right, you can see the house and chassis battery voltage, as well as turn your water pump on or off, and this is where you turn your tank heaters on and off. Tapping the slides button brings up your slide controls. Choose the slide room you want to operate, slide one or slide two, tap the down arrow, then choose in or out. If your coach is equipped with stabilizers, tapping this button will bring up the controls. You can extend or retract each side to stabilize your coach. You can also control your coach with Rapid Camp Plus on your phone or tablet. Simply download the One Control app from your device's app store. Now you're going to need your owner tag card to get all set up. 
make sure the Bluetooth is on on your device. Once you see your specific RapidCamp Plus pop up, go ahead and tap it. Now, enter the password on your owner tag here. A connection screen will pop up. And when you are all connected, you get three blue check marks. Now you're ready to use the system from that app. All the buttons and functions are now accessible from your phone or tablet and work exactly like they do on your main screen. So what do you think, Tom? Pretty cool, isn't it? Wow, I am tired of being a no electronic regular dirt sleeper. I want Rapid Camp Plus. I'm gonna go inside them, outside them, inside them, outside them. I'm gonna get Rapid Camp Plus and I'm gonna go, 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 go. Yes, then move out of your parents' tent, Tom. Cut your hair, walk through that door because that's where you're gonna find Rapid Camp Plus from Thor Motor Coach.